Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of this let's play of Cloudpunk. When we left off in the last episode we decided that we were going to try and return Bill's items to his family instead of using them to pay off his debts. There we go. I can't do it, Camus. I can't give away Gil's final possessions to settle his debts. Will we get in trouble? I don't care. I'm glad we did that. So, a little heads up. In the original recording of this video, I somehow ended up on mute for the first nine minutes. So, this is actually a voiceover that I am recording post facto. And yeah, I'll see how this goes. I'm doing it for the first time. Hey, Grandia. Um, are you there? Yeah. You don't sound good, Control. What? Well, I'm fine. I, uh, if I could just sleep. I used to be able to sleep, you know. Are you sure you're okay? What is wrong with him? I think he's had some drinks. He sounds strange. Like he is confused uh broadcasting nav point collect the package 14 fc uh, get on with it who from where am i going always questions from you just do your goddamn job control out there is definitely something funny going on with control so one of the things that i would really like to do in this playthrough is collect all of the punch cards for Evelyn's quest. I really want to find out what her memories are that she's missing. I really hope that she gets them back. So in this episode I will spend uh, a fair bit of time running around trying to get the 20 required punch cards so that I can go back to her in the next episode. I too am slash was playing this once again at silly o'clock in the morning. Uh, once again, I failed to get a full night's sleep, but it's very nice to have this game here and waiting for me. It's a very, very relaxing way to wake up and start the day. You know, often when I roll out of bed, and you know, I sit down, you know, I make a cup of coffee. I actually had coffee this morning, it was very nice. It turned out that we did have some more coffee in the house, but it was just hidden in one of the cabinets. So I found that today and I got my coffee. But one of the things that I notice is that, you know, I'll start playing where it's not quite pitch black darkness. There's a little bit of light outside. Um, and that really, it gets me in the mood for this kind of dark, gloomy, rainy city of Nivalis. And then, yeah, just slowly I'll feel the sun creeping up. That's a nice way to wake up. I mentioned a little bit later on once I unmute that I have no idea how to do any kind of video editing and it's quite daunting. Uh, in the end I settled on uh, Adobe Premiere, it was a bit more user friendly and I figured out relatively quickly within 10 minutes how to add that little voiceover text over my mouth so that the the words I'm speaking now don't seem out of place with the video and then also how to add a voiceover track so who knows maybe in the future I will be adding more video editing wizardry into uh, into these let's plays and maybe even the tutorials actually I think they would go a long way there so I had um, I had posted on Twitter, I'd been sharing some links to this Let's Play, and I tagged Ion Lands, the development studio behind this game. I'm not sure how many people are in that development studio, it seems very small. But you know, I tagged them and I said, you know what, I, this is a phenomenal game. Uh, and although a lot of the praise gets directed towards the cyberpunk aesthetic and the city of Nivalis, I think that 
one of the you know one of the really special things about this game is how well it captures the immigrant experience and that you know Rania is, is one of my favorite characters one of the most well-written characters uh, I have seen in a game like this and the lead writer of this game saw that tweet and he messaged back and he said hey thanks for this it means a lot to me so that was nice I'm I'm surprised that he was listening or that he was able to find the tweet and I'm glad that I was able to you know share my feelings in a way that made him made him happy that people see this part of the game when I when I read commentary about this game, or when I listen to commentary about this game, there's very little said about this side of the game. You know, the the way the immigrant experience in a big city is portrayed. And yeah, I wonder what that's like for the writer, you know? All of the praise going into the, the cyberpunk aesthetic part of the game and you know all the themes of capitalism gone mad free market gone mad but not that many people picking up on what I would consider to be the heart of this game the the portrayal of the immigrant experience yeah I hope more people start to see this game and that light and ex re-experience maybe in a lot of cases this game and that light I know when I posted uh, links to this game, I did mention that it is a must-play video game for any and all brown immigrants. At this point, I think I am mainly just running around trying to find uh, punch cards. One of the things that I noticed now playing the game for the second time is that the way the game is laid out and the quests and the deliveries are laid out, it gives you the opportunity to go and explore the areas and find the punch cards. Um, because I was not in the best state when I was originally playing this game, um, I didn't realize that, which is why I, I didn't get to finish Evelyn's quest line. But yeah, it is... It's it's a very very well very tightly designed game I think. I'm really excited for the. Well, I don't think it's even really a spiritual successor. It's a slice of life sim in Nevalis where I think you can do things like run your own restaurant, cafe, club, stuff like that. But I'm, I'm just really excited to come back into this world, you know? And I really hope it's full of these, you know, very rich interactions. I'm the delivery driver. I'm here to pick up something. Yes, you're here to take our original corbet. Huh? Oh, it's a painting, dear. You'll be taking me and Mr. Butler, too. I don't think I'm supposed to take passengers. What is all this nonsense? Mr. Octavius Butler, this was all supposed to be arranged. Didn't you tell the company that we simply can't let this painting out of our sight? I did, my love, I did. There must be some confusion. I'm sure our young driver friend will consent to take us. It won't be a problem and we'd hate to raise a complaint. Is that not right, young miss? I guess so. Let's be going then. I want to see our new apartment as and soon as possible. And I think this is where Apparently, I start to unmute. And the so have moved goodbye from future me, and I'll hand you over back to past me. Well, it looks like and I was I not her recording. About our new home and how it still smells like smoked fish. Uh, okay, that's not too bad. That's I guess nine minutes. Uh, yeah. Oh my, this is cozy. I've never been in a vehicle like this. Very retro. I agree, very nice indeed. Do you understand us, young lady, or should we speak slower? I understand fine. 
Dear, you must be very curious, are you not? How a woman like me and an android like Mr. Octavius Butler met? Sure. <laughs> well, I can tell from your accent that you're not from the city, but we're quite enlightened here, you know. Isn't that right, Mr. Octavius Butler? That's right, my love. Some might say that Mr. Octavius Butler is human passing, but I don't care about that. I love him for who he is inside, not what his outer skin is made of. It's a polymer plastic. <laughs> oh, you are hilarious. What was I saying? Oh yes, we met at a charity fundraiser. We both work for Life Corp. I'm in HR, and Mr. Octavius Butler is in acquisitions. We had executive offices next door. We started meeting for coffee, and one thing led to another. Wow. And now, just a week until our fifth anniversary, we're on our way to our new home. Aren't you happy for us? Uh, yeah, definitely. We're suddenly happier than the family that's moving out. Oh, don't start all that again. This area is up and coming now. The people living there couldn't afford it, and they wouldn't fit in either. With hypergentrification, they're forced out instantly instead of being pushed out over months and years. It's a short, sharp shock, but it's for the best for everyone. People who argue against free markets don't really believe in freedom. What freedom does this... to the people who can't plan for a future. That's just life in Navalis. If you don't like it, go live somewhere else. Not everyone is suited for life in the city. Some people need to live here. Well, maybe in the nice places, but who needs to live in the filth of the marrow? No one stays there without good reason. And the reason is they all dream of getting rich with some scheme or other to make their way up to the spire. That's the Navalis dream. Our society has a million slots and each must be filled. Every time someone moves up a peg, someone fills in the gap behind them. And every time someone at the bottom slips, where do they go? I read in the holocrons yesterday that the most common food in the marrow is now roach meat kebabs, noodles with rat. Those kinds of people love street food. No offense, dear. None taken. I love a maggot pizza. We're almost at our destination. Splendid. You see, Mr. Octavius Butler? Look at this fabulous place. Different and together, but separate. That's how we exist together in this city without all the systems breaking down. That's what they used to say about androids, you know. Oh, don't hearken back to your revolutionary days again. You have rights now, just like humans. Androids are just a part of society, low and high. We're all the same, you know. As long as we all have the same bank balance. Well, you're welcome to give away all your money to the orphans and the rat children. You can come and stay in my penthouse as long as you take off your shoes and have a shower before you touch me. Very generous of you, my love. Have either of you ever actually been to the Marrow? Oh, heavens no, dear. I have family in the Spire, and Mr. Octavius Butler is from a very distinguished line of androids. He's descended from the very first Korra models. Wait, what does that mean? Why do you mention Korra? It's just a saying, isn't it, Mr. Octavius Butler? In a way... It means he's refined, dear, just like me. We have no prejudice here. We're very enlightened people in the city, you know. Yeah, you said that before. Do you think the family will still be there when we arrive? I shouldn't think so. Two hours of rent at peak rate and they'd be bankrupt. I'm sure they're long gone, either moved on or forced out by Corpsec for violating their lease. I bet they'll be somewhere nice. Not everyone ends up in the marrow, you know. 
Maybe one day they'll seize the means of production down there. <laughs> oh, you are witty. The production of mold burgers and rat salad. No offense, dear. Yeah, none taken. Thank you for getting us to our destination, driver. It's been fun to drive in a vehicle that's much more rustic than our limo. Our painting made it here safely, too. And what a lovely neighborhood. Quite so. Well, they were charming. So I, uh, I figured out around the nine minute mark that my mic had been muted. So I think for the first time, I'm going to throw this video into some video editing software and try and do some overdubbing for the first nine minutes so it doesn't look too strange me talking away in the top corner of the screen with no words coming out but yeah we'll we'll pick back up so that was mr and mrs octavia octavius butler and they i think they come back a couple of times and yeah gentrification is real Yeah, like I know, that. I know. You're gonna have to hit a repair station. Oh well. If the damage gets worse, I can't get you out of the standard Cloudpunk Hava damage penalty fine. Um, before I hit up the garage, I just want to see if I can collect some punch cards for Evelyn. I think we have eight left to find before we can head back to her. One here. I think in general they are found wherever you drop somebody off like the game is designed in such a way that if you follow the progression you should run into all of the punch cards and I think what I did last time was I didn't fully explore because I wasn't <laughs> fully with it and it made it very hard to try and track back and figure out where everything was. So, yeah, there's like three here. So I might as well get all of those before I head back and try and repair the hover in a garage. Now I'm in this weird spot where I don't know if I should talk about what I was talking about before while the microphone was muted or I should try and remember and save that for the overdub oh man but it has been a very interesting learning experience for me uh, one of the big reasons that I put off uh, recording videos for so long was I was so daunted by the entire process of setting up, you know, the lighting, setting up OBS, hooking up everything so that, you know, the picture quality was good, so that the sound quality was good. I spent so long messing around with uh, the settings, both in OBS and Elgato Wavelength, you know, limiter, compressor, the noise reduction in the background trying to get rid as much as possible of the, the plosives and the s sounds so that it's not too harsh. Um, and so the thing that I have been putting off God, recently... This is why I'm not a taxi driver. <laughs> I didn't like them. Yeah, I don't blame you. Uh, I don't talking think about the they butlers. would like automata or dogs. Or anyone poorer than them, less educated, less well-connected, less stuck up, different in any way. But one of them was an android. I know, Camus. I have a question. Go ahead. Did you really eat maggot pizza? No, Camus. I was playing along. Oh, a joke. I laugh at them. Me too. It's all we can do. Hmm. So... It is very quiet. It makes me nervous. We can listen to the ad streams if you like. Are they interesting? Sure, if you want to learn all about everything we can never afford. 
What about music? No thanks. We can check the weather feed if you like. If you want it, I can put it on. Fine, but we're not tuning into any of the Corp music feeds. They're all ads and Corp approved pop stars. They sound so empty, hollow. How do we find other feeds? I only know about Corp channels. The radio, Camus. The what? An electromagnetic wave of a frequency between about 300 kilohertz and 300 megahertz. You can tune that in, right? Yes, I have found it. I'm hearing it now. How strange. It's the easiest way to broadcast without the corpse shutting you down. They've been playing music with radio waves for thousands of years, you know. How did you know? Mom told me if I ever visited Novalis, I should tune into the pirate radio. She said it was the only good thing about the city. Go ahead, play something over the speakers. What about this? I like it. Maybe something a bit more relaxed, though. I know this one. I like the bit that goes ba ba ba. Yeah, it's nice, Camus. But let's see what else there is. Oh, oh, what about this? Do we know who this is? No, it is radio. Right, sorry. Dumb question. Do you like this one more? I like this one. I like it too, but keep searching. There is one more. Yes, this is perfect. Mom would have liked this. We have a new job coming in. From Control? He normally calls. The checksum confirms it's CloudPunk. I have a nav point. Let's go then. All right, let me just repair. Oh, that got expensive. Um, ooh, vertical repulsor, let's get that. Uh, that is awesome. Let's get these bumpers. Yeah, we'll see. So Rania's mom likes synthwave. I dig it. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so the thing that I am... Oh, I'll wait until I have to control. We did a status check on your vehicle performance and it's running clean as a spire sky. Look after your Hava and she'll look after you. That's what I always say. Good work, kid. Yeah, so I've been putting off learning about video editing software. It's another thing that is very daunting. I don't even know which one to use. Like, should I shell out for... Was it Adobe Premiere, or should I use, or learn how to use DaVinci Resolve, or whatever? I'm just gonna drag the video file and figure out how I can do uh, an overdub in those nine minutes. Oh, this handles very nicely now with the extra vertical handling module. All right. So, why don't we go here to the parking lot. Yeah, we can get a bunch of stuff from here. We are close to getting all the punch cards forever and Five more to go. Ooh, this is inside. I can go inside. Sad. should be possible. Let's see if there is a way around.
ambient sounds of the city are done so well. It just feels right. You know, when the music cuts out and then you've just got the rain. You've got the cars buzzing by. Yeah, it feels right. The sirens remind me a lot of Seattle. <laughs> Three more left. Maybe we'll come across those. Well, I think that to the south is one of them. Right. Let's see if I can go over there and get that. Privacy Solutions offers the best in camera defying subdermal face obfuscation technology. Janus, get your business face on. I'm not sure how many episodes I will get out of this. It's it's a fairly short game. But you know, I am finding that I know there's something different, enjoyable in a different way about these these shorter games. I was mentioning last time that it's a lot less tiring compared to playing Sekiro where my mind is like a hundred percent engaged for most of the time. Um, downstairs. This is very relaxing in comparison and I think it would be nice to do some streams of more relaxing games. Uh, especially some of the games that I know not that many people will have played or know about unless they're directly exposed. One of the one of the things with the proliferation of digital media platforms like you know like spotify like with steam is at least for me right i feel a sense of being overwhelmed that there's just so much available and unfortunately so much of it is lowest common denominator quality you know, like, it, it's so easy to just spam, like, for example, the Kindle bookstore. Anybody can use, you know, a ghostwriter or a large language model now to put out some very low quality content on the store. And, you know, you optimize for search engine optimization. And, yeah, it's like you, you get in the store and there's clicks, but then the stores get overloaded with low quality stuff. And in the, oh, hi Patty Green, in the context of Steam as well, you have all these early access games. Hey cutie, you want to buy some fresh walnuts or Ooh. are you looking for a date? Was not expecting that. Uh, I think I'm good. Actually, I like the shirt. Thanks. Thanks for this. Anytime, honey. Yeah, so like in the in the Steam store, there are so many early access, unfinished games. There's just so much. The choice is overwhelming. And it's really only based on personal recommendations a lot of the time that I will try something new. Well, maybe not. Maybe also algorithmic recommendations. I learn about a lot of new stuff from TikTok. Uh, these days, I, th I find the TikTok algorithm really good. The YouTube algorithm is also surprisingly good. But it's not necessarily directing me towards content, but towards specific creators that I, I learned to give the benefit of the doubt to, you know? And so given that this is technically an indie game, um, it, it didn't have such great marketing, I don't think. I believe I found out about this on Reddit. I subscribed to a couple of game deals subreddits, and I must have caught it on sale. 
And I just thought, okay, yeah, this looks cool. And I'm not sure why I chose to play this over any other game. You know, that's, that's the other thing with gaming backlogs getting so huge now. With all of the seasonal sales from Steam. Like, I have so many games in my backlog that I don't know if I'm ever going to play. The same with the Epic Game Store giving away free games every month. You know, I just click them and I download them. <laughs> but I'm not sure when I'm ever going to get around to playing them. Maybe that can be something that I do, clearing out the, the free games backlog. But all of that is essentially... There we are. Yeah, all of that is essentially to say that it would be cool to play some more relaxing games. And there are quite a number of relaxing indie games that are waiting to be played and to be discovered, so hopefully the good ones will make it via my channel into the hands of others who will appreciate them. I think we use these coolants to repair a couple of other elevators a little bit later in the game. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at the weather yesterday morning and it looks like Seattle is going to have its first heat wave of the year towards the end of this upcoming week. Uh, the first week of, is it May now? Yeah, the first week of May, I believe. Hi Molly, who are you? And what is your you story? Um, no, sorry. Please do not be shy. We talked about this in the chat room. We cannot begin oh, until you confirm no, 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 your no, identity. No. We agreed on Kelson for you. I am Molly. I'm not Kelson, my name is Rania. Oh, I see. I'm sorry too. Damn it, I cannot take any more of these time wasters. I hate to be made to wait. Even worse when it is in the rain. At least your clothes are kind of waterproof. They're made of... Latex, yes. And I suppose that is a small mercy. How do you survive this weather? You're soaked. I'm a delivery driver, so I'm mostly in my hava. Yes, of course. You like your work? I'm still deciding. You? It is honest work. I make people happy. Are you? A sex worker? Yes. A dominatrix. My mother said one day I would find something I was good at. This is it. Okay. You have something else to say. Spit it out then. I have nothing else to do it would seem. I know you are curious. Does it feel bad hurting people? Even if they want it? No, not at all. I am helping them. You really believe that? I know it. They thank me, with words, and with huge handfuls of money. Has it ever gone wrong with a client? 
No. Seriously? You've never hurt someone more than they wanted? It's all done with augments now. If I crack a whip, it's just for show. Ropes and chains are ornamentals. The augments bind them, hold them down, cause them pain. That way, no one is ever hurt worse than they want to be. I guess that's better. It is. Well, Molly, I hope you get another client soon. And get out of the rain. I shall. Business is good. Run along and get yourself dried off. We all wear a uniform to work. Whether we think we do or not, no need for it to be waterlogged. I love that healthy brown skepticism. Uh, what was I saying about the heat wave? So I was thinking it would be really cool to experience uh, a heat wave in Navalis or to play a game where there's or to play a story or a game in this world where instead of raining all night it's in the middle of a heat wave a lot of a lot of cyberpunk fiction I think is especially visual fiction tends to be associated with rainy cities but I think it would also go really well with uh, a heat wave or a city in a heat wave as the background. Okay, so Evelyn just needs one more punch card. Hopefully, we can get that at our next pickup destination. in the background. Alright, I guess we are heading to Albina Majoris. Got this fixed. God damn it. Alright, let's go and fix this up because I know that's gonna be an issue sooner rather than later. Hello, Mr. Mechanic. Alright, not that much, not that much damage, but fixed up nevertheless. We need to get gas soon as well. Hey, somebody on Twitter tweeted at the the writer of this game saying I cannot take this game seriously because there's a district called Mochi District. I Yeah. I don't know man. Looks like Weirdest I'll things to, to pick foot. on. It's pretty far from a parking bay. I will stay here and play the waiting game. What's the waiting game? I guess how long it takes for me to get bored. 
Then, when I get bored, I start the game again. Right. I'll try to be quick. Uh, all right, let's... Is Susie Hawk another dominatrix? Hello? Oh my god! Who are you? I haven't seen you here before. Come and speak to me. Why are you shouting so much? I'm not shouting! Not really. I could shout if you want. I just want to talk to you. Fine, just keep it down. Who are you? Oh my god! I'm Susie, and I love meeting new people. I'm so, so happy right now. I live for this. You live for talking to strangers? Uh, yes! You know introverts and extroverts. You're an introvert, right? There's no such thing. It's all just nonsense, like star signs or blood types. But some people like to be more outgoing and meet new people. And some people like to stay home and read. Everybody likes those things at different times. That's just being alive. Well, I don't agree. You know extroverts. Well, I'm an extrovert. I was quiet and shy, but I got a neural mob that makes me super confident. Now, I can't stop meeting new people. That sounds awful. <laughs> I can't stop. Well, I mean, maybe I could help. I could... <laughs> I'm sorry, this is really dull. I need to talk to someone new. Uh, could you move along, please? Wow. That is, um... It's actually very similar to how some people turn out these days. Ooh, new cars. Shiny. I think we can get a new car here at some point. Um, I think this is the punch card coming up. Is it up there? Oh, maybe it is up there. Yeah. Okay, maybe this one. Is that also up there? Come on. Okay, I guess we, we need to go up anyway. I would love to ride on the overground subway, overground subway here. Uh, go up one more, yeah. No, we have to wait for it to come down. I am being stolen. Camus, did you get bored? What? No, it is true. I am being stolen. Shit, really? Lock the doors. They are already inside. Tell them to get out. Threaten them. Pretend you have an anti-theft subroutine. Uh, they can hear you. Why am I on speaker? Camus! I am taking off. I am frightened. Deactivate the Hava. Can't. <laughs> Hacked. Hava Automata Eject Custom Personality Camus Data Drive. Eject? What if I fall into the ocean? Then you'll float, I think. You think? What if I get... Damn it! Eject Camus Data Drive, now! Drive deactivated and ejected. Camus? Camus? Shit, shit, shit. Think, Rania, think. 
the drive. Get that. It should be registered to me. I can track it on my com. Uh, how the hell am I gonna rescue Camus? Mm. All right, a hundred. This reminds me, oh, I don't want to do any spoilers, but there's a scene in Blade Runner, the, the sequel to Blade Runner, which is very sad. And it reminds me of this. Damn it, Camus, I'm sorry. I'm hey, we found him. I'm gonna try to dry you off, I guess. You can't talk to me right now. You probably can't even hear me. But if you can, I'm going to fix this. This isn't going to be a pleasant phone call. Control? Control, can you hear me? I read you, kid. Uh, you okay? Yeah. No. Look, I have some bad news. You lost the Hava? Yes. How did you... We track it. Listen. This one ain't on you, kid. Don't sweat it. it happens all the time. What? Seriously? <laughs> Hava jacking? Oh, yeah. Surprised it hasn't happened already. So, am I fired or not? Kid, we got insurance. Uh, you weren't hurt. But more important, you didn't lose a package. But what do I do without a Hava? I'm not gonna lie. We got a pretty generous repair replace policy. I'm not saying we're happy when some slum ganger steals a Hava that's two months over its predicted expiry date. Well, actually, mm. I am gonna we say get to it pick one. it's true. Past its expiry date? How much of a junker was I driving? Hey, don't worry about it, kid. It got pinched before it fell out of the sky. <laughs> Best outcome for everyone. Not for me. Not for my... What the hell am I supposed to do now? Mm. Relax. Which one do I want? You're real close to one of our suppliers. I'm sending a nav point for Grimm's Hava Mall. You ain't gonna find a Spire limousine from old Grimm, but any Hava he has will be better than what you were in before. Choose anything you want on us. Just tell Grim that Cloudpunk sent you. Control out. Is this Grim? Hold on, Camus. I'll get you back as soon as I can. Hey, Grim. Hey, how you doing? You're looking good. Windy out there? Oh, that's just how your hair looks. Beautiful. Now, I got a brand new open top malichka for you. I know what you read about them, but it's all wrong. These models don't go on fire half as much as people say. We got customer reviews up in the high threes on this one. What I want to know from you is what are your reasons for not buying this hover? You got none, right? I'm going to put you down for one, and I even got a discount for you because I love you people from out in the east. You know, with the music and that funny thing you do with the chanting. <laughs> Beautiful. You're gonna love this one. Unless you want something more upmarket. In that case, I got you. I'm from Cloudpunk. You're supposed to give me whatever I want. Jeez, lady, why didn't you say? I was using my best pitch on you. Yeah, have a look around. Then when you decide, just hop in. Cloudpunk pays me either way. So if you'll excuse me, I got real customers to deal with. Yeah, thanks for all your help. So apparently there is a, a meme. It's like the, the paging Edward Said meme. Um, I think <laughs> it would be apt in many of the interactions in this game, which... Uh, are uh, not too dissimilar from some of the reactions I've had, or interactions I've had in real life. Uh, I don't know which one to pick, so I think we'll cut off the episode here at about 50 minutes, and when we come back in the next episode, we'll pick our new hover, which should hopefully have enough capacity for Camus to be his full self and then we'll continue the game from there so if you have been enjoying this series or maybe this is the first episode you have watched in this series and you would like to see more you can check out the playlist there is a playlist for this let's play you can also subscribe to the channel 
because you will get notified of new uploads if you subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments if you are enjoying this, if the game is resonating with you, especially if you get what I'm saying about this game being more so about the immigrant experience than, you know, just your run-of-the-mill cyberpunk story. And if I'm missing anything, if I've missed any particularly good interactions, let me know. I'll try and go back and get them. But yeah, stay tuned for next time. We're gonna get a new Hova, we're gonna get Camus his upgrades, and we're gonna go back to Evelyn with the punch cards. That is it for this video. This is the end of the episode and the end of the video. And I hope that whatever you do today, you have a very, very nice day. Goodbye.